Hey guys, Dom here, back with the internet's biggest waifu, uh, playing some more Skyrim, and yeah, we're about to walk into the Soul Cairn, I guess. Or not. Let's just turn around right. and give up. That looked painful. Yeah, it's more of a sizzle. Now that I think about it, I should have expected that. Sorry. Dick it's move. It's hard to describe. The Soul Cairn is, well, hungry. For lack of a better word. It's trying to take your life essence as payment. No, oh, that sounds like fun. There might be, but I don't think you're going to like it. Vampires aren't counted among the living. I could probably go through there without a problem. Oh, no. Not your first choice, I guess? Maybe. We could just pay the toll another way. It wants a soul, so we give it a soul. Yours. My mother taught me a trick or two. I could partially soul trap you and offer that gem to the ideal masters. It might be enough to satisfy them. It would make you a bit weaker when we travel through the soul cairn, but we might be able to fix that once we're inside. Maybe. Eh. I'm sorry. I wish I knew a better way, something that would be easier for you. Just know that whatever path you choose, I won't think any less of you. Sometimes things just have to be done. Why do you think less of me for becoming a vampire me. just because you are a vampire? And if I don't want to become a vampire, have you made up your you mind? You probably understand. The glowy eyes are weird. Are you sure? I'm willing to do it. But you'll remain mortal, but you'll find yourself weakened within the soul cairn. Yeah, weakened within a small weird realm. Don't care. I know this is difficult for you. I hope you trust. It really me. isn't. I never do anything that could hurt you. Oh, but I like the pain. Thank you. Let's not waste any. I promise to make this as painless as possible. Hold still. Oh. Yeah. Next we just. Yeah. Boom. Let's keep moving. Ah, the purple realm. <laughs> See, I secretly think this is just the shadow realm from Yu-Gi-Oh. I mean, you get souls, which are close enough to shadows. And you get the glowy hole in the sky, just for more banter's sake. I'm not here to do you side quests. He doesn't deserve to be in a place like this. And I don't deserve to be wasted with your side quests, young man. I mean, I'll be honest, it is quite desolate, so I'm not too big a fan of it. So like the realms in oblivion. They weren't too bad, just because they were all quite small. But this area is quite big and chunky. Despite, you know, not having much in it rather than a couple of towers. Size matters. But sometimes that size just needs to be small. What a life. Spending eras after eras standing in a corner. Serana? Is it really you? I can't believe it. How do we get inside? We have to talk. Serana, what are you doing here? Where's your father? He doesn't know we're here. I don't have time to explain. I must have failed. Harkon's found a way to decipher the prophecy, hasn't he? No, you've got it all wrong. We're here to stop him. To make everything right. Wait a moment. You've brought a stranger here? Have you lost your mind? Bit harsh. No, you don't. You, come forward. I would speak with you. So how has it come to pass that a vampire hunter is in the company of my? Hold the phone. When did I say I was a vampire hunter? Think you travel with Serana under the guise of her protector in an effort to hunt me down. Whoa, whoa, whoa! whoa. I don't hunt vampires. I'm just like, just some chat who's just here for the Olive Scroll. Serana claims you're her guardian. Yet your first instinct appears to be greed. Not really. You haven't spoken to her about me yet. Serana has sacrificed everything. You've really like jumped into conclusion land, haven't you? That's why I'm here for the Elder Scroll. I'd have the audacity to place my own daughter in that tomb for the protection of her Elder Scroll alone. Banter in it. The scrolls are merely a means to an end. Oh look, the hand gestures continue. The tyranny of the sun. Never mind. Serana herself. What do you mean? When I fled Castle Volgahar, 
I fled with two Elder Scrolls. The scroll I presume you found with Serana speaks of Ariel and his arcane weapon, Ariel's bow. I'm sorry, but how the hell did you get two Elder Scrolls perfectly related to this prophecy so easily? Like myself, Serana was a human once. We were devout followers. No of shit. Lord no Lord one's Lord. just born a vampire. Tradition dictates the females be. I don't know, unless like a mummy vampire and daddy vampire love each other very much, maybe. You survive the ordeal. Those that do emerge as a pure-blooded vampire. She'd be dying for the good of all vampires. I wouldn't allow that and to happen. And how exactly do you plan on stopping him? Uh, have you heard of console commands? If you believe that, then you're a bigger fool than I originally suspected. Or here Love how they have that bit of dialogue in just in mind. case you Evil didn't choose to become a vampire. To be destroyed. Uh, I'm just here for the Elder Scrolls. <laughs> Greedy boy. I see. You're simply here to stop the tyranny of the sun. This stranger has done more for me in the brief time I've known him than you've done in centuries. Oof. How dare you? I gave Oof. up everything I cared about to protect you from that fanatic you call a father. Yes, he's a fanatic. He's changed. But he's still my father. Both of you were obsessed with your own paths. Your motivations might have been different. Uh, this just end. seems like awkward parent so issues. I'm just going to slowly back away. I want us to be a family again. But I don't know if we can ever have that. Maybe we don't deserve that kind of happiness. Maybe it isn't for us, but we have to stop him before he goes too far. And to do that, we need the Elder Scroll. I'm sorry, Serana. I didn't know. I didn't see. Look, I've got their eyes open now. To a stranger. Bizarre. Forgive me. If you want the Elder Scroll, it's yours. Your intentions are still somewhat unclear. I just want the Elder Scroll. For Serana's sake. I'll assist you in any way that I can. By giving me the Elder Scrolls. Yes. I've kept it <laughs> safely secured here ever since I was imprisoned. Fortunately, you're in a position to breach the barrier that surrounds these ruins. Therefore, and keep my daughter safe. Oh no, I was just gonna like sell her on Craigslist, you know. Oh, and there's walls in the way. That's not that mind. Now I just feel like a bit of a dum dum. Hello. That was quick. You know what, have I got a weaker weapon? We're using Memory's Razor for now. Just because it might not one shot. Yes, it does have like a 1 in 20 chance to instantly kill, but that's not what's important. These keepers aren't very strong, are they? Oh well. On to the last one. Did I start with my ride on the Hey! Jib! Jib! Right, okay. Another time, perhaps. Jib! Ooh, boy! Right. Now, oh, I'm wrong, we have to jump this weird gooey thing. No, nope, wrong one. Slash. Do more rolling because that definitely helps. Oh no, drain my stamina. So now I just can't swing properly. Great. In we go. Hello. What are you saying, soul people? Oh. 
Ah, lá. Nice. Right, and like a true badass. Just in case. We are going to jump off the tower. Oh, God, shouts not ready. Shouts not ready. Okay. That was nearly a big oopsie. Like a badass. V Verumia. You managed to destroy all three keepers? Very impressive. No, the barrier just fell down to the peanut. Now, can we go get the Elder Scroll? Please follow. Keep. Oh, never mind. Oh, boss battle tension Wait, coming up. I hear something. Right, only because this looks so cool. Go away. Piss off. Go. Roll away. Just seeing how strong this bow is. Well, I've got Daedric arrows as well, so... Oh, he died off camera, sorry about that. Oops. My bad. <laughs> Forgive my astonishment, but I never thought I'd witness the death of that dragon. Why? Volumes written on Dernavir alleged that he can't be slain by normal means. The soul of a dragon is as resilient as its owner's scaly hide. Well, that was convenient, so I need to stop. The killing blow has merely displaced Donavir's physical form. Minutes, hours, years. I can't even begin to guess. Now, let's get you the Elder Scroll and move on your way. I also like how she's got unique armor, technically, because of the skin color. Well, that looked professional. What did you want? The scroll. For goodness sake, woman. <laughs> That's it. That's the last scroll. Gucci. Let's take it to Dexia. Got to speak to Mummy first. Now that you've retrieved the Elder Scroll, you should be on. If there's anything I can do before you depart, you must let me know. She's the only thing of value. Gucci. Okay. Um. I don't actually need to get my soul back. Oh well, I can just live without it. And awkward transition out of the soul can. I forgot about this, Chad. Never mind. Stay your weapons. I would speak with you, Quanarin. Okay. Cursed, not dead. Doomed to exist in this form for eternity. Trapped between life. Forgive me, Quanarin. We will continue this when time releases you from its relentless grasp. Cool. And let's never go back there again. Hello. I trust your journey was successful? Yes. I'm sorry, my friend. I can no longer be of use in this matter. It's my fault. In my haste to read the first scroll, I neglected the careful preparation required. I thought I'd be what able to delay the after effects, but I was wrong. Now I am paying for it. Blind? Yes, I'm afraid so. I don't see the point in that. No. It will have to run its course, and there's always the chance I may never recover. 
Well, then we're done. No, there is another way. The question is, how much are you willing to risk to find Oriole's bow? About two out of ten. I can't guarantee you'd be free from harm. Becoming blind could be the least of your... Scattered across Tamriel are secluded locations known only as Ancestor Glades. There's one in Skyrim in the Pine Forest. Performing the ritual of the Ancestor Moth within the Glade should provide the answers you seek. It involves carefully removing the bark from a canticle tree, which will in turn attract Ancestor Moths to you. Once enough of the Moths are following, they'll provide you with the second sight needed to decipher the scrolls. In keeping with tradition, you must use a specific tool in the Ancestor Glade. Every Moth Priest is taught this ritual, but few ever get the chance to perform it. You should consider yourself fortunate if it works for you. Gucci. From what I saw in the vision, the Elder Scroll which foreshadows the defiance of the gods with the blood of mortals is the key to the prophecy. Look at that. One god ray. Todd Howe would be praised. I want another. Hmm. Not very impressive, is it? Ouch. If this ends up being a wasted trip, your friend Gexi and I are going to have some words when we get back. Ah, the dogs are more important. Look at these god rays, though. 16 times the detail. And this is actually quite lit, not gonna lie. Wouldn't mind having this in my back garden in the future. Nice, peaceful area. I want to catch some ancestor moths. Oh well. Hope the moths like that bark as much as Dexon said they would. Look at them. I'm definitely taking a liking to you. And unless I'm seeing things, you're starting to glimmer. Aren't I always though? I'm a glimmering masterpiece. In a while, okay. Leave me be. <laughs> Just kind of forgotten what to do. Almost all the locations of these moths. Moths, come join, join the cult. Just need one more squad. Oh. Let's see what kind of Elder Scroll we got. Oh. Wowzer. Not seeing much so far. Of course the dogs have to be in priority. Oh look, Markov and Solitude happen to have the same symbols that they've had all this time. That was convenient. Hello, doggy. What's up? Are you okay? Almost thought I lost you there. You went as white as the snow. Oh, okay. That felt strange. I could see it in your eyes. You looked about a thousand leagues away. What about Ariel's bow? Do you know where we can find it? Um, left. When it's almost over. We can finally put an end to this ridiculous prophecy. Where is this Darkfall cave? Mm, then let's get the... going. I want to get there before my father has a chance to track us down. Tight. Let's get out of this cave, however we do that. I 
heard something. You'll beg me to kill you before I'm done. Well, I think that's how we're going to conclude today's episode. If you enjoyed, please like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.